Hello. Julia. Can you hear me, Julia? Good. All right. Welcome back. How was your weekend, Julia? You're, you're muted. I cannot hear you. Hello? Yes, now I can hear you. Thank you. How was your weekend? Was pretty good. I spent a little time with a friend and it was nice. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Oscar. <laughs> how hey, are how are you? Today? Good, good, I'm doing okay. How was your weekend, Oscar? Well, I was uh, working. I had a working weekend. I, I went in a four hours on Monday on on Sunday. All right. On Sunday, I came today early in the morning. All right. All right. Good, uh, good. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, good. Eric, how was your weekend? Eric, Eric. Maybe he's having connection problems. All right, welcome back everybody. What is today's date? October 12th. October 12th. Is there any celebration on this day? Mm, I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish is Dia de la Raza. Okay, does anybody know how to say Dia de la Raza in English? Columbus Day? Yes. What? Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Uh, Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Columbus Day. Yes. Do you remember who discovered the American continent? The Vikings. <laughs> okay. Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, exactly. Uh, the Spanish guy, Christopher Columbus. Do you remember the year when he discovered the American continent? 1492. 1492. Yes. 1492. Ah, 1492. Yes, 1492. 1492. Do you remember this particular day when you were in school? Did you do any events or any presentations connected to Dia de la Raza? No. no. It used to be a day off. I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Maybe. Yes. All right. Erenia. All right. So um, today is October 12th. Uh, remember, this is our last week. Uh, how much have you worked in the in the platform? Almost everything, teacher. Good. In my very, case. very good. Very good. So in theory, you guys should have completed units one, two, and three. If you can move and do part four, that's that's even better. Remember that INSA4 will evaluate you guys according to the number of work of how much work you have done in the in the platform so um keep that in mind keep that in mind because um even if you presented all the paperwork that ingles corporativo is asking from you even if you have all the documents ready if you don't do the work in the platform 
you will not be part of the next uh, class. So I suggest that, uh, that you complete the platform uh, this week. All right. Okay, so let's begin. Um, do you remember the activities we did on Thursday, last Thursday? Do you, do you, do you? I guess we were not. talking about the tag question. Tag questions, yes. What is a tag question? You work every day, don't you? You have three children, don't you? You don't work on Saturdays, do you? When you ask something because you want a response or you want uh, the other person's idea. Good. So you ask that tag question or that mini question when you expect the other person to agree with you, to agree with your opinion, or when you want to confirm information, right? So if I said, uh, Managua is in Nicaragua, isn't it? What would be the answer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, any questions or comments about last Thursday? No? Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs and briefly speak <coughs> about the different things you guys did on the weekend. So talk about the different activities that you did and start practicing your simple past tense. Loading, loading, loading.
children. <laughs> ah, they are your children. Okay, that's nice. And on Saturday, did you work? Yes, I work in my, in my home. I can, uh -huh. I join with. Mm -hmm. Nice for you and your daughter. Okay, thank you. What about you? What do you do? Oh, no. Friday night, I went to a barbecue with a friend. So it was a, yeah, a nice time. <laughs> yes, I went to the barbecue. And uh, Saturday morning, I went to run because I've been eating a lot. Yeah. Are you eating more than usual? It's no more than usual, maybe more sugar than usual. And okay. It's, Sugar it's in, in my case is completely destructive. I I wouldn't eat sugar, but I love sugar. Tell me what do, do what, what do I have to do? Yeah. I love cake, I, I love a, candy, yeah. I love masa pan, uh, Mexican candies, yeah, um, Coca Cola and uh, all the bad I things. Yeah, I reached the point that sometimes if I have a, if I want to eat a, a piece of cake, for example, I I buy the cake, but I hide it from my mom because I live in my, I, I still live with my, with my parents. Uh -huh. So yeah, I hide it. I hide the, the, the cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I admit it. So sorry. All right. That's me. <laughs> so I I bring the cake to my to my room and. Uh, you I eat it secretly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Western Western bus station. Station because I contract another girl to help me. <laughs> oh, I see. Because because she, I I I began to to go to work today to the office. I see. Mm -hmm. and so you need help with the with the chores and uh, yeah. Yeah, the things to do at home. Yes, do, yes. Do you have children? I mean, yeah. Well, young, I have. I, no, ah. <laughs> I have a a, a a son, but he is twenty. But okay. he he is studying at the university, and he is studying very hard. So, but he helped me, but my husband don't help. Doesn't hardly, you know. So I prefer to to, to have a uh, to have a, a male. Yes, it, yes. Is, mm -hmm. Teacher, is 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 that uh, yeah, appropriate? Maid. appropriate yeah. maid. maid to have a maid at yeah. home. Yeah, or okay, you can okay. say worker too. Work. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Yeah, if if the person you know has the uh, uh, the, the facilities to pay for someone, you know, why not? No, awesome. it, I, 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 I have a hard work, work because right. I, I have, I have uh, to work at night sometimes to, right. do, to do maintenance windows. So okay. Yeah, so you don't have time. So you don't have time to mm -hmm. be cleaning your house. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. It's very hard. A... And we have a lot of pets because my ah, okay. husband likes to, to have. What, adult, kind, what kind uh, of pets? What kind of pets do you uh, have? A lot of pets. Uh, a dog, a cat, a two turtles. Turtles. <laughs> uh, three, three parakeets. Parakeets? Yeah, and, parakeets. And and some um some fish, fish. fish. Yeah, fish. 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 Yes, a, a fish tank with fishes. Oh, and, so and, and three beautiful. horses and and five armadillos and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, animals right. are cool. I love animals. I love animals. Uh, I love too. But yeah. my my favorite pets are the parakeets. Good. What color are the parakeets? They are green, but they are they have uh, orange at, at the forehead. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and we have one with red in the forehead. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> 
que vas a ir a la fiesta, dice. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Sí. Pues sí. Cabal. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to express ideas in the simple past tense? Is everything clear? Yeah? Okay, your silence says a lot. So that means no questions. All right. Uh, so um, there is one section of the platform that the exercise is called, how creative are you? Have you reached to that part yet? How creative are you? Let me see if I can find it. Is that a read? Is it's a reading, right? Uh, it's it's not a reading. It's like a survey. They ask you questions. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see this here. Right here. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, All can. right, how creative are you? Do you consider yourself as a creative person? Do you? Maybe, or, maybe. Okay, depends on the situation. Okay, so you can take, um, you can take a screenshot if you wish right now. If not, I sent you a, a, a copy of it to the WhatsApp group. Um, Oscar, can you free the first question, please? Okay. Are you a risk taker? Okay, Julia, number two. Are you naturally curious? Okay, good. Erenia, number three. Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Good, number four, uh, Vilma. Number four, are you uh, sensi sensitive to beauty? beauty. Okay, good. Number five, Rocio. Do you challenge accepted ideas? Okay, very good. Number six, Irene. Do you keep an A out for new fashion and products? Good. Number seven, Jose. Do you adapt easily to the new situations? Very good. Next one, Eric. Eric. Do you trust your Reese. Listen me. Do you trust your guesses? guesses? Uh -huh. Intuition and insights. And insights. 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 Yes. Number nine, Erenia. Do you are you more interested in the future than in the past? Okay, and the last one. Who wants to read the last one? Ah, do you have a, re a creative, sensitive, or 
human. Okay, good. All right. Uh, thank you. Um, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, humor is humor. Yeah, humor is humor, yes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and number eight, teacher, the last word, insights. Insights, mm -hmm. yes. Do you trust your guesses, intuitions, and insights? Does anybody know how to say insights in Spanish? Visiones. Yeah, your oh, visions, uh -huh. your uh -huh. your internal point of views. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, internal point of view. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Naturally. Come what is it? Naturally. 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 Are you naturally curious? Yes. Curious. 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 Come on. Curious. 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 Yes. Curious. Yes. Curious. Yes. Mm, number eight. Guesses uh -huh. what? Guesses in the, in intuitions. Intuition. Okay. Yeah, and insights. Yes. Insights. Okay. Insights. Okay. okay. What is the meaning of insights? What is insights? Anybody? What? Internal point of view. Yeah, your internal point of view. Uh, internal How you opinion. feel your about, yeah, your own opinion about particular uh, subjects. Ah, oh, okay, okay. okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't understand completely the meaning of the number five. Do you challenge accepted idea? Okay. Um, hmm. Si usted cuestiona ideas que ya son aceptadas. Por la mayoría. Mm -hmm. Ok, gracias. Yeah. O si usted reta eh, ideas aceptadas. Yeah, ideas that are mostly accepted by most people. Ah, ok. All right. Challenges, challenges. The challenge. Challenges, challenge. Retar, retar, retar. challenge. Okay. Challenge. Challenge, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, any yeah. other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No? All right, so let me, uh -huh -huh. let me rearrange you so you guys can work together. Here we go. Work, work. So, Questions, answers, questions, answers. At my work, at work, I I ask if someone asks me if I can do something, and, and I I never have doing have done something. I take the risk <laughs> because because in, in this case yes, but if something is Dangerous, I, I don't take the risk. <laughs> okay. So it depends on the area. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And are you uh, not sure? Teacher, sorry, can you, can you hear me? Sure. Uh, I, I don't have the screen. I have oh, my okay, give me a second. 
I'll share it with you right now. Share. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay. So you can take a picture of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you, Diana? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How was and your I, weekend? It was really good. I spent some time with my father. Oh. And with my boyfriend. And good. It was really good, yes. Nice. Where, where is your father? Ah, uh, my father just, uh, I don't know how to say it. Her, his birthday was the last uh, third Friday. Oh. He's 70. Okay. All right. That's, I think that's my father's age too. He was born in 1949. Oh. My, my father. father. Ah, okay. Mm, but my father uh, was born in 1950. Okay. So yeah, so my father is 72. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's great. All right, good. Almost the same age. And your boyfriend lives near you? Yes, he he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Nice. Loan, loan, préstamo. Loan. 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 For you when you want to buy a house do you challenge accepted ideas um jose and sometimes i sometimes you sometimes. question people yes <laughs> <What>? okay <laughs> how about you well, yule if i am not agree i just keep like i keep silence so, if I don't agree, I keep sometimes always or rarely? Rarely. Rarely. Me too, rarely. Rarely. Uh, do you keep an eye on the new fashions and products? It uh, depends. For, yes. for, it depends. For example, cell phone technology about mm -hmm. computer I like to be on out there. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, that includes in technology. So it's always or sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes. So two always. points. You always. Okay, yeah. three and me. Uh, sometimes. Two points. So let me see. Uh, do you adapt easily to new situations? Jose? Please, please, please. Nah, it will be here in my house.
What is the next one? Do you adapt easily to new situations? Mm. Mm, yeah. I think it, it depends mm. because mm -hmm. if it is a situation that affects you directly, it's a little bit difficult to accept a, a, a change and mm -hmm. to adapt to it. But if it is something that is not a big deal, so I think mm. you can handle it. Yeah, if new situations, for example, when we enter to the pandemia, pandemia or, or the quarantine, pandemic, pandemic, uh, pandemic, I, I try to accept, I try, but at, at first it was a little bit hard <laughs> to be uh, all day. Uh -huh. lockdown. Uh -huh. lockdown. I think mm -hmm. that that was not a very hard situation for me because I prefer being at home so I can spend time reading the whole day. So uh, uh -huh. I think it was good for me because at the beginning we were not working normally with the students. We started only sending the documents that they had to complete to complete uh -huh, to complete the the homework but we didn't have the online classes we started the online classes on may i think so the uh -huh. time before may between march and may i was uh -huh. enjoying my my time it was, <laughs> it was good for me ah, it, was good for it you. was like vacation oh ah, yeah yes yeah. uh-huh do you trust your guesses into a intu intuitions intuition and insights and insights and insights uh products that are related with the things that i've been working on Mm, but in the case of fashions, I don't think that I am um, that I am looking forward for the newest stuff in fashion. You know, maybe when I was younger, I was kind of interested in in fashion and stuff like that. Yes, I agree with you, Yanita. Uh, it is very expensive nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. in a way for new fashion and products. In a way, because uh, you know, I had a friend that uh, she used to to go to those uh, th those shopping centers. I don't know how to say it. When they <laughs> when they they sell this used clothes, second hand, second hand. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> second hand stores, and she has like the eye and. Uh, the taste to to pick up the the nicest stuff. Yeah, they sell good things there. Yes, really yes, good. They do. <laughs> and yeah. if you have like really good taste, you you get like treasures. Right. The, right. Mm -hmm. About Barack Obama or oh. mm -hmm, about La Roca. Interesting. Do you do your yes. history? Mm -hmm. About famous people, yes. Oh. Rihanna too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Isn't what about you? Sorry. <laughs> what about you? I try, but I have a problem with my time because. Um. Sí. No, sí, pues te digo, si mandas a hacer así una y debería mandar a hacer eso a ellos.
No habían deditos con chile, vos. ¿Y qué te dijeron? No hay delivery ya. ¿Cómo? Han de tener preferencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, porque el teléfono lo ha apagado y todo. Sanitizer, please. Está barato. It's cheap. Yo toda esta, sí, toda esta semana no ocupa la volada para nada. Pues sí. Pero mañana nomás llegas, tenés que darle la primera socada. Last night was All right. Welcome back. Any questions on how to answer um, the survey about being creative? No. no questions, all right. So now we will do a listening activity. In the audio, you will find uh, different people speaking and you have to identify the role, the occupation or profession of each person. So I will put you on mute so there are no uh, distractors or interruptions. So let me do this here. Right here. Loading. Listen to Samira. Can you hear it? Yeah. All right, good. Alex and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? One, Samira. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours, but I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Okay, what is her occupation? Architect. An architect, very good. Uh, which examples does she mention of things that homeowners might not like? Her houses look old fashioned. Or exactly. That? The high bills of energy. Uh-huh. Yes. So people worry about if the house looks old fashioned. That's one. And she mentioned something about temperature. What did she mention about temperature? Who remembers? Houses is uh, heater than than the normal. Right. The efficiency. 
you're right. So um, if you're in New York, do you need air conditioner or do you need a heater? A heater. You need a heater. Both, right. both of them, maybe. Right. Or, or let's say you're in New York in the in the winter. Your house or apartment needs a heater. What if you go to LA or San Diego on a normal uh, season? You need I AC, you. right. Mm -hmm. So when, when these architects are building houses, buildings, uh, apartments, they're already thinking about, okay, uh, the, the, the connection for the AC, the connection for the heaters and all that. All right, conversation two, listen up. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. What is his occupation or profession? Small business owner. owner. Small business owner, right. So what activities does he do as an, as an owner? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Basically everything. Which examples does he mention? Answer the phone. Okay, answer the phone. Take what care else? of the accounts. Take care of? The accounts. Yep. Okay. Identify customers. Okay, identify customers. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Exactly. Be better, be better than the competition. Exactly. Exactly, be better than the competition. You know, they said, welcome, how can we help you? You know, they buy something, they pay. Thank you very much, come back, you know. Uh, so uh, uh, it, it's not only selling a product, but you're selling a service, you know. And uh, so those are little things you should remember when, uh, if, if you are the owner of the business and if you are working there. All right, here we go with the last one. Three, Naomi. I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want, so I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So, after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy, that can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So, I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always succeed, but I do manage to get my way a lot of the time. All right, what is her occupation? She's an interior designer. An interior designer, exactly. So what is some of the frustrations that she mentions? When does she feel frustrated? For example, when, when she has an idea and the, the client doesn't accept the idea, at the, right. at the beginning, so she has to change all the things and start over again. Exactly, exactly. And just like any other um, occupation or profession, you know, if you're trying to convince the client and for whatever reason they say no, you know, you start all over again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions or comments before we go to our last activity? No. Okay, so let me 
Second, break our rooms. Recreate. Go here. And go here. Wait a minute. Let's do this. A second. Okay, new share. Share. Goodness, where's this document? Okay, right here. We'll be talking a little bit about your future. Can you see the questions? Yes. Okay, so we have exactly 12 minutes. So you guys can talk about this, 8 to 9 p.m. Um, you can take a screenshot right now if you wish. If not, I'm sending you uh, the image to the WhatsApp group. So here we go. Loading, loading. In my case, maybe uh, I I would like to influence in a positive way the the life of, of my family, the, the the people where uh, which I live. Um, I want I I would like to to give them a, a good memory of, of of me. I just try to be positive all the time. Um, uh, and the other one. The, does the expression the good old days mean that the future will probably be worse? For me, not. Uh, I, th uh, uh, I think no, no worse, but different. Uh -huh. uh, even better, even better. Uh, it depends on the, on the, on the, the point of view, on your point of view. And how about the number three? Are you optimistic or pessimistic about? 
tratar, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? How do you say tratar a las otras personas? Treat other people. Oh, okay, treat other treat people. Treat other people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you? <clears throat> well, in my case, um, I would like to influence the, the mind on the, the, the new people in the future. Uh, because I like to change the, the way they see many things. The yeah, yes. I, I think not, not all the things that at the past were good. <laughs> yes, I agree with you, mm. especially we in that in that subject. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. about the the women's <laughs> women. Uh, are you optimistic or pessimistic about the future? I mean, I am really optimistic uh, because I, I imagine that my future is going to be like awesome, and oh, I, well. I, I know I know that it's going to be that way. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you? Yes, I try to be optimistic, but sometimes. <laughs> I, when when you see the news, I... Normally, the future is good too. Exactly. Because in your mind, is very, very strong. If you to speak uh, only negative things in the future, maybe you can to get uh, about things too. But if yeah. if you uh, have in your mind a good thing, the result may be a good a good thing to in the future. Exactly. Um, I read with totally read. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. What do you think about the future of where, of where you live? <laughs> okay. A manager. Uh, a manager. In the bank you are currently working. Really? Yes, that's right. Okay, that's. And nice. you, Elenia? Mm, for the immediate future, I just want to sleep. <laughs> That's right. my plan for my immediate future. Uh, for my near future, I think I'm thinking about having a baby. And for my far future, I think I'm having my own business. Wow. Oh, the immediate, yes. can you repeat the immediate uh, purpose, the immediate my, future? My plan for my immediate future is uh -huh. sleeping. Oh, sleep <laughs> today. Okay. Ah, sleep, sleep. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Number six. <clears throat> what would you plan for your children's futures, Oscar? <laughs> okay, I will. You are the one who has children here. Ah, okay. Or do you have the children, Eric? I don't have. No. Okay. I don't have children. So Oscar. I'm putting. I'm adding. Some sports I'm trying. Um, now due to the quarantine, some uh, some uh, how to say with I try to go and and take them to have a uh, some physical action. I mean exercise. So I uh, what am I doing for my children's future is I'm trying to schedule and plan. Uh, I mean plan the their schedule. <laughs> 
planning their schedule, including sports and relaxation and studies. Okay, that's well, nice. For them, mm -hmm. of course, uh, talking, about, uh, talking about the technology, is a disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh -huh. It's okay, you're not a teacher. <laughs> Disadvantage. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Uh, then the viejos tiempos. How do you say viejos tiempos? You're mute. Old times. Sorry, old times. Old times. Old times. Talking about uh -huh. the old yes. times. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? Jose? <laughs> <laughs> it's about, is it depends. One hour. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? I guess not. No. All right, so thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Sleep well. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.